All right, guys, I had a whole ass video lined up for today that I didn't get finished editing last night, which is a good thing because when it comes to this subject of Carly Russell, we have an additional news conference and well, watch. That I have talked to and received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Carly Russell. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 19th. No, 30th, no, no. 2023. No, there wasn't. My client did not see a baby mm -mm. on the side of the road. Mm -mm. My client did not leave the Hoover area. No, she didn't. She was identified as a missing person. No. My client did not have any help in this incident. Mm. This was a single act done by herself. Oh, by a damn self. Uh, so there you have it. Proof is in the pudding. And by the pudding, I mean the lawyer statement. And what I will do is continue to show you the video that I had made that I was going to drop today because it still has all the uh, timeline, all that kind of stuff leading up to today. But uh, yeah, there you go. It was all fake. It was a hoax. Enjoy this five minute fix. It's Wednesday, July 24th. My name is Rich and this is your five minute fix. All right, guys, welcome to the five minute fix where we take news stories from around the world, pretty much anywhere about anything. And we try to get it to you in five minutes or less. Today, we're going to give you an updated rundown on the Carly Russell situation. If you haven't heard yet, Carly Russell is a young female who allegedly went missing on the I-459 highway in Hoover, Alabama, just south of Birmingham, Alabama. And well, it looks like the lie detector determined that was a lie. Not only did she show up, but it's being alleged that this is all a hoax as police have determined that her alibi just does not make sense so i'm gonna be taking some key points from this forbes article and before you say anything i understand forbes is usually a financial publication but yo you know how you guys know how i feel about timelines and this article breaks it down so let's get started right now here are the key facts on july 13th after leaving work for the day and grabbing dinner russell while driving on i-459 in hoover alabama just south of birmingham called 911 to report a lost child in a diaper was wandering along the highway after she called police, officials say Russell called a family member who lost contact with her during the call, but the line remained open, Hoover Police Lieutenant Daniel Lowe said. Traffic camera footage released later by police showed Russell pulling over, exiting the driver's side of her red Mercedes and walking around to the passenger side of the vehicle. But by the time police arrived three minutes later, Russell had disappeared. The circumstances surrounding her disappearance remained a mystery, with police releasing little information besides that they had no other calls about a missing child. Just before 10.45 p.m. on Saturday, about 49 hours after she first disappeared, Russell returned home on foot, ending a two-day statewide search. Medics were dispatched to Russell's house after she returned on Saturday to help an unresponsive but breathing person. But when they arrived, Russell was awake and speaking. After receiving medical attention, Russell spoke with investigators Sunday and they observed a small lip injury, a tear in her shirt, and saw she had $107 in cash in her right sock. She also gave investigators her account of what happened July 13th. Police say Russell told them a man came out of the woods and told her he was checking on the child and then forced her over the fence and into a car. The next thing she could remember, Russell told investigators, was being in the trailer of a truck with a man with orange hair and a woman while hearing a baby crying. Russell further alleged that the man and woman took her to a home and took photos of her while she undressed before she claimed she was able to escape and run through the woods to get home. Okay, now right off the hop, a lot of people were concerned just with the possibility of human trafficking. Apparently this is a method that some human traffickers will use a baby on the side of the freeway in order to lure unsuspecting helpful women into their grasp. So personally to me and the people around me who were also talking about this story, which was shocking, you know, last week when we were hearing about this for the first time, we were starting to get juicy sommelier vibes, if you know what I'm saying, in the words of Dave Chappelle. So like I said, this is not fully confirmed, but it seems to be a situation where as time passes, it seems more and more to be a fabricated story. The things, the the lines aren't matching up, the dots are not connecting, the math ain't mathing. So uh, there we go, as we have it at this very moment, it's an ongoing developing situation. I wanna know, what do you guys think? With what you guys have read, what we know so far, do you think this is a situation where she was fabricating it? Or do you think that she was actually abducted and became a lucky individual who managed to get away? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Happy birthday, Jono. My name is Rich, and this has been 
your five-minute fix.